So let's tune the harp string, just one string that's out of tune and work out how we do it. For instance, I'll detune the C string here, the red one. You can hear it going down. Now, I can do this by ear, so I'll play the C above. And then we're in tune. You can use a piano if you haven't got a meter or your ear is not reliable enough. And then another option is to use a meter, which basically has a little microphone that clips on the sound box, and then you pluck the string, and the meter will read whether it's sharp or flat, so you can get it spot on. Now you'll notice that I used the tuning key and I came down from the sound, And it's better to come up to the pitch of the note rather than go above it and go back down because the string will tend to slip. When you put a new string on, quite often the string will gradually be slipping down until it stabilizes, but that's a fairly common thing. So when you're tuning one string, quite often the octave above is a good guide or the fourth or the fifth above, but that's basically the way to tune it. And sometimes the tuning pin will be a bit sticky, but later on we'll look at that and to how to get over that as a problem. But basically, that's all you have to do. Make sure when you are putting a new string on that you don't actually go too tight, in other words, an octave above the string. And one way to do it is just to test the tension on the string next door, so you're in this, that sort of parish area, and then you'll know you're somewhere near the tension you need to be, and then tune the pitch.